Hello, and welcome to the local Lafouche. My name is Cody Gray, president and CEO of Louisiana's Cajun Bayou Tourism, the Tourist Commission for Lafouche Parish. And we're excited to have you join us here today on a new season of the local Lafouche. Due to your support and your viewership, we have renewed our show for a second season to bring you even more of the exciting things that are happening right here in Louisiana's Cajun Bayou. And from all of us at Louisiana's Cajun Bayou Tourism, we sincerely appreciate you for your support and for joining us here on our new show. With that, let's start with our first segment today. And this first segment, I'm just gonna go ahead and start off and tell you right now, you better break out your stretchy pants for this coming Friday in downtown Thibodeau because Big Boy's Main Street Cook-Off returns and will be serving up all kinds of delectable dishes, plenty of music and lots of great memories to be had with your friends. Here to tell you more about Big Boy's Main Street Cook-Off this year and how you can eat your way through the streets of downtown Thibodeau is Miss Dan. Danielle Stein, director for Thibodeau Main Street. Thanks so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. We are excited to see Big Boys come back again. It is one of the best events, I think, on the Bayou. There's so much food. There's so much to do. Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit about what people can expect at this year's event. So this year, uh, it's our 23rd year of having the cook-off wow. downtown, uh, and we've set a record. So we have the most teams ever with the most dishes ever. Wow. So 36 teams will be cooking up Louisiana-inspired dishes, 38 total dishes for you to try out. <sighs> Uh, in four different categories. So there's something for everybody. Uh, we have soup and gumbo, jambalaya, pastalaya, etouffee and sauce pecan, and then a variety category. That's and there's a, there's a few um, sweets that are in there too. We have a couple of um, dessert dishes that people entered this year. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, that's a look, we, we love a good dessert. Uh, that's amazing though. I mean, because I've been to the event obviously before and I, I didn't think it could get any bigger. I mean, because it is huge, but that's amazing. The most teams, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. So really bring your stretchy pants because there's going to be a lot of eating to be done. Absolutely. Friday night. Absolutely. So aside from all of the amazing food, um, you talked to us about all the teams that you got coming in. Uh, music is also a big component of this. So what kind of music, what kind of bands y'all have this year? Yeah, so from 6 to 10, Forgetting Last Friday, we'll be playing music for us. So while you're eating your jambalaya, you can jam to their tunes and work off some of those calories. Um, and when guests enter, they'll be given a wristband with a tab on it. So okay. while you're eating, keep in mind, like, which dish is your favorite. You get to be a judge and cast your vote for the People's Choice Award. Oh, I know that is a highly, highly sought after award. I know I, yes. I've cooked in it a couple of times myself, and I, I know from being in it that that is something everybody is looking for that task. Oh, the teams rally for those votes. They work hard for it. They do. Yes, so, that, we, they uh, do. so we award the People's Choice Award. We also have a best of show, and then we award first, second, and third place in each of the four categories. Oh, wow, that's yeah. incredible. That's amazing. Well, good, well, I mean, that's, also amazing that y'all have been around for that long. I, I really didn't realize it had been that long. My goodness. Yes. That it is... started off just a, a few guys cooking in the parking lot of yeah. the Goose, and now it's turned into this. So it's grown over the years, um, and I think we just keep tweaking it to make it better and better, to better mm -hmm. serve our customers. We've started limiting our attendance so we have more space to move around okay. so guests can be comfortable. Um, so we encourage people to buy their tickets ahead of time before we sell out. You can get that from our website, downtownthibodeau.org, or all of our social media pages um you can follow Thibodeau Main Street on Facebook or Instagram and everything is linked there we have all the event information uh tickets are $15 a person and uh, guests 10 and under get in free uh, perfect I was gonna say you jumped me to the gun there I was about to ask you like, how much it was to get in to big boys but say that again yeah. just so to it's make sure $15 per person kids mm -hmm. 10 and under are free and okay. that $15 gets you unlimited samples of all the dishes that the teams are offering live music and you get to hang out with a bunch of cool people in downtown Thibodeau. See, and that's less for if you had to go out to dinner somewhere. I mean, 15 Absolutely. bucks and all I can eat. You can get through three teams and you'll be full, I guarantee you. Uh, no, it's true. <laughs> like, it, it's very true. Like, you you always have great ambitions going into like, oh, I'm going to try all these things. Yeah. But if you can make it through three or four. Good luck. Good luck. I mean, because some of the food there is just, it's man, excellent. it's good. It's really good. And we'll give you a map when you come in. So you'll have a layout of the of the event oh, space okay. with a listing of all the dish names and the teams so you can pinpoint exactly where you want to go go back to the ones that you love, cast your vote there, 
So it's all planned out. I love it. Yeah, stretchy pants and a map. That's all you need. <laughs> that's, all, that's all you need for Friday in downtown <laughs> And a Thibodeau. ticket. And that's, a ticket. That's a whole yep. night out right there. Yep. Um, so I know that this event, the proceeds from this event, I think let's talk a little bit about that real quick. Um, who benefits from Big Boys Main Street Cook-Off? So the cook-off is our biggest fundraiser of the year. Mm -hmm. uh, Thibodeau Main Street is a 501c3 nonprofit. So the f the proceeds from this or from this event come back to our organization. It stays right there in downtown to help us market the district, help small businesses. We started, brought back our facade grant program this year. Um, all of the things that we do to try to make downtown Thibodeau better. That's amazing. So everybody come out, support Big Boys Main Street, cook off those proceeds, go back to help Thibodeau Main Street, to fund Thibodeau Main Street, to reinvest back into the downtown district in Thibodeau. Uh, again, for people who want to learn more, where can they find out more information? Um, you follow us on Facebook or Instagram, Thibodeau Main Street, or you can visit our website, uh, downtowntibodeau.org. All right, fantastic. Well, Danielle, thank you so much for being here. We look forward to a great event on Friday. Thank you. Absolutely. And we'll be right back with another segment of the local LaFouche. Mmm, mmm, you gotta try this. And some of those. Ooh, and definitely that. You won't be disappointed, but just know you can only get it here. Up and down Louisiana's Cajun Bayou in Lafouche Parish. Y'all come visit. We're just 35 miles south of New Orleans. Hungry? <laughs> Let's eat! Welcome back to the local LaFouche. Well, did you know that each November, hundreds of little yellow rubber ducks are poured into Bayou LaFouche and they float down Bayou LaFouche to a race in a race to the finish line. The famous rubber duck race is only one of the attractions at the Thibodeauville Fall Festival, which will return to downtown Thibodeau this Saturday. Aside from the famous rubber duck race, there will be over 200 arts and crafts vendors, over 50 food vendors, plenty of music, kids activities, and fun for the entire family. Here to tell you more about this year's Thibodeauville Fall Festival and how you can gather your friends and family and come on down to Thibodeau is Ms. Tammy Lede, President and CEO of the Thibodeau Chamber of Commerce. Thanks for being being here. Thank you, Cody. It's a pleasure to be here. Absolutely. So in reading through everything, y'all have a packed event this year we in do. downtown. Yes, we do. Uh, give us a little overview about what people can expect at this year's Fall Fest. So first of all, the festival starts from 830 to mm -hmm. 5 o'clock. Um, it's on Saturday. It's a one day event. And uh, we have uh, three stages of live entertainment. Okay. Uh, we have a big stage where we'll actually have um, Waylon Thibodeau from 10 to 1. And then from 1.30 to 5, we have Fat Hat. And then on stage B, which is near Spars, okay. we've got Cajun Music Preservation Society with all kind of um, features there as well, including the um, dancers from Desalmonds. Oh, okay. Yes, the children. And so that should be really good. And then, of course, we've got stage C hosted mm -hmm. by Thibodeau Family Church, which is a lot of Christian music and also some dance teams and then also a couple of other performances as well oh on that gosh. stage. That's so that's just the That's just the stages for music. That wow. is correct. Wow. And then, like you said, we have so many food choices. In fact, I think I was just counting. We have at least over 75 different dishes. Wow. This year, we have something very new. Mm -hmm. We have come in with uh, a couple of food trucks as well. So we'll have kind of like a food truck alley. We'll have a separate lot just for the food trucks. Okay. And then we'll also have all our other food vendors, which will be along LA1. Oh, what a great addition. Yes. And then also, too, for the kids. Let's not forget our kids. That's right. And so um, we will have, of course, um, the petting zoos returning. Great. And then also we have face painting by a couple of some of the other artists in our downtown market. Mm -hmm. And then also, too, this year we're adding inflatables. So there, too, oh, we okay. will have another lot 
with just inflatables for kids, like mainly games to play and whatnot. So okay. there should be a lot of fun field activity for everybody. I was about to say, there's something literally for everyone. For everybody. So no excuse not to bring the entire family. That is correct. That it's is correct. Don't leave anybody behind. No, 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 no. We do not <laughs> we want can't. to do that. No. Right. So in addition to all of these wonderful things, there's also a car show, I believe, going that on. That is correct. So, right. If you have one of those beauties, you know, that mm -hmm. you want to bring to, uh, yes, a uh, car show. Usually we get about maybe 100 to 150 cars. Wow. Okay. That'll show up. And now, of course, they do give out awards. So you might have a chance at that. So please, yeah, if you have one of those, bring it by and uh, enter into the show. And um, it's usually in along LA1 okay. and kind of in that area of the downtown area. And as well as when you do, when you come in, we'll also give you a map as well as, as to where you can find everything. Oh, perfect. Okay, yes. good. Well, that is great because I know just from being down there, like it's, it's, I mean, there's so many streets that are filled with arts and crafts vendors, and it's a great time to start your holiday shopping as well, because that there is, are, like, the the creativity and all the variety that's down there is really great. That is correct. Uh, there was a gentleman a long time ago that used to always say, save your money, come spend it at Thibodeauville, because you can buy Christmas gifts. You're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. I mean, some of our craft vendors are coming in with pictures, some are coming in with art, some are coming in with homemade toys, oh I mean, gosh. jewelry, I mean, and so many baked home goods as well. So, you know, in addition to the food itself, we'll also have like the other part you know the desserts mm -hmm. and stuff to go along with that so uh carry your stretchy pants from the big boy cook off the night before just, and just come, just come on, on over back. yeah <laughs> just come on back you know the next day for Thibodeauville you know and spend a full day with us so Excellent. yes no, it is. It's it's a pack. That it, that that weekend with big boys and then Tibbet, it's always a packed weekend in downtown. But there's always so much to see and do down mm -hmm. there. So, and speaking of things to see and do, I talked about it a little bit earlier. But the famous rubber duck race, and that is something you don't see at a lot of festivals or events. And I know we always get a lot of questions, even. Um, at Louisiana's Cajun Bayou Tourism about, you know, I've seen photos of these rubber ducks. Y'all have a duck race in the bayou? <laughs> yes, So we do. for those listening that may not have, mm -hmm. may not know about the duck race, tell us a little bit about the duck race and how people can buy tickets sure. for the duck race. So we do dump 2,500 little bitty rubber ducks into Bayou Lafourche, and each one actually corresponds with a duck ticket raffle, a raffle uh -huh. ticket. So we're selling tickets now. They're $5 each. You can pick them up from the chamber. You can call our office at 985-446-1187 um, and come by and pick them up. And then what happens is the day of at 4 o'clock, we dump all our ducks in Bayou Lafourche mm. and off to the races. And then at the end, we've got people ready to pick them up. And so we do give out six cash prizes. And the first prize is $1,000 cash. Wow. Wow. What a that's, great Christmas, right? That's a great yes, Christmas. Start off Christmas with that. And so, uh, yeah, so it, it's really cool to see that, you know, people are sitting along the banks of the bayou. Mm. And, of course, they're, you know, cheering on their ducks. Of course, they have really no idea which one it is. Which one it is. No, you never know. <laughs> you just hope that it's yours that reaches, you know, the finish line. And then, of of course, immediately we we uh, announce the winners, mm -hmm. and then of course we'll get with them afterwards, you know, to pay off their reward. That is a lucky duck. For it is sure. a lucky duck. So, so be yes. sure to get your be sure to get your duck mm -hmm. tickets. And then one other thing too, I want to mention that I think is is great that you all do. Parking in downtown can sometimes be a little limited, right? Mm -hmm. And so Thibodeauville has a shuttle service. We do. Tell us yes. a little bit about the shuttle service. So we are very fortunate that a Good Earth Transit is mm -hmm. provides the free shuttle for us. So you can park actually at the Warren Harang Auditorium, mm -hmm. and they will pick you up there and actually drop you off right on the grounds of the festival. And then when you're ready to come back, just wait for the shuttle there because it runs mm -hmm. continuously throughout the day from 830 to 5. Oh, that's perfect. And yes. it's a free shuttle. It's a free shuttle. And... Also, Thibodeauville is free to attend. You don't have to pay Correct. any Correct. That's entrance. a good thing to mention, yeah. Right. It's very free to attend. Just come on in and enjoy, you know, whatever you can, um, whether it's crafts or just food and entertainment or a combination of all. We want to see you there on Saturday. Awesome. Well, tell everybody, if you want to learn more, where can they go to learn more about Thibodeauville and make their plans for Saturday? Sure. Um, also, too, you can check our website. is mm -hmm. um, www.thibodeauvillechamber.com. You can also follow us on Facebook, and then of course you can always call our office at again 985-446, excuse me, eleven eighty seven. Perfect. Yes. Well, Miss Tammy, thank you so much for being here. We look forward to a great Thibodeauville on Saturday. We do too. Thank you. You're very welcome. And we'll be right back with our final segment of the local Lafouche. Try this, and some of those. Ooh, and definitely that. 
You won't be disappointed, but just know you can only get it here. Up and down Louisiana's Cajun Bayou in Lafourche Parish. Y'all come visit. We're just 35 miles south of New Orleans. Hungry? <laughs> Let's eat! Welcome back to today's final segment. Well, the fall festivals and events season, we just talked about them on a, a couple of di uh, different segments here today, but that season's winding down. And believe it or not, we are gearing up already for the holiday season here in Louisiana's Cajun Bayou. And one of the newer events that takes place on Bayou Lafouche takes a, a different approach to your traditional Christmas parade and will kick off the festivities in Louisiana's Cajun Bayou. The Golden Meadow Christmas Boat Parade returns November the 30th to Golden Meadow, of course, and will light up Bayou Lafouche with all different types of boats that'll be decked out in lights and Christmas Christmas decorations, and you may even see Papa Noel himself. Here to tell you more about the Golden Meta Christmas Boat Parade, how you can come participate and enjoy the festivities, is Miss Buffy Sharpenshay. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks, Cody. It's good to see you. Absolutely. I mean, we were talking right before the segment. I can't believe it's already time again. <laughs> time flies. It definitely does. It does. This it is does. one of the most exciting events that I've had my hand in. And, uh, you know, anything with lights and nighttime and Christmas, it just really puts you in the spirit. It does. So this is going to be happening on November 30th, which is the Saturday immediately following Thanksgiving. So right when you're probably putting up your Christmas decorations and hitting the shopping uh, malls, mm -hmm. maybe save a little bit of money for the craft booths because we're going to have local vendors selling this year at our event. Great. But it's definitely a lot of fun, and we would love for everybody to join us down the bayou. It is. I, I look forward to this parade every year. I mean, I love all of our parades, right? Yeah. But this one is really special yes, because... It's really a different, I don't know, it's really a different take on Christmas. It, you have all these beautiful shrimp boats that are just decked out in all Absolutely. the lights. And everyone's just having a great time. And you see the community come together on the banks of Bayou Lafouche. And everyone's just sitting and enjoying the moment and really yes. getting into the spirit of the holiday yes, season. Yes, it's definitely right. exciting. And we do welcome any kind of vessels. We have lots okay. of shrimp boats. We have fishing boats, pleasure boats. If you have a pontoon, uh, it doesn't matter what it is. Put some lights on it and, and it. invite your friends and come on and join us. It's free to enter. Okay. And uh, everyone is welcome. Awesome. Well, thank you. Okay, so tell me a little bit about the parade route. Like, where does the parade yes. start? Where's the parade end? How so does that So the work? parade starts at the dock across the street from Our Lady of Prompt Sucker Catholic Church, okay. which is located at 723 North Bayou Drive in Golden Meadow. Mm -hmm. So the parade is going to start at 630 p.m. following the 5 p.m. vigil mass at church. And the parade route is going to travel north of Bayou Lafouche okay. towards the Galliano Lift Bridge, which many people call the South Lafouche Bridge. And we will turn back southbound towards the church, go a little bit past to the Golden Meadow Lift Bridge, and then back to church. Okay. That's a nice parade route. It is. That's it good. is. And so we welcome people of all ages, all across, up and down the banks of both sides of Bayou Lafouche mm -hmm. to see the beautiful spectacle and lights. Awesome. And so if somebody does know, you mentioned it a little bit, if somebody does want to enter their boat, is there a form they need to fill out or is there somewhere they need to go yes, to do it that? It is free to join, but we do have a registration form. We ask that all boats register so we can keep a good count. Um, go to our Facebook page, which mm -hmm. is Golden Meadow Christmas Boat Parade on Facebook. You can find the craft vendor form. Um, you can find the boat registration form. Mm -hmm. We're also still accepting teams for the gumbo cook-off. Okay. And uh, we're always looking for additional sponsorship. As you know, um, it's Absolutely. always necessary Absolutely. to have our uh, corporate sponsors to help us ensure a successful event. So just to go over the timeline a little bit, yes, if you don't please, mind, please. the festivities begin at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. And that's going to start with the craft show. Okay. Um, then we will serve lunch. We're going to have several gumbo teams where we'll have chicken and sausage, seafood, and in any other category, which can make it really interesting. Oh, okay. We're also, this year, uh, new to the event, we're going to have a boucherie, which if you're oh, not that familiar, is, that's great. we're going to be roasting pig. Yeah. So uh, that's always a treat 
down the bayou. So adding something to the, the food lineup. We're going to have regular food and drinks available like hot dogs, hamburgers, nachos, things that kids like to eat mm -hmm. and grownups too. And uh, we will have live music. We are going to have a visit from Santa after lunch with gifts for the kids who arrive to see Santa. No professional photographer. Use your uh, phone skills. Take your own photo with Santa. Mm -hmm. And then um, the uh, activities will end at 4.30. Okay. So people who choose to attend Mass can attend Mass at 5. And then as soon as church ends, we walk across the street and board the boats. Most of the boat owners welcome anyone who would like to ride. So if you would like to hop on board, you are more than welcome to oh, do that awesome. and take a ride up and down the bayou. All right. Well, that yes. is a full day of Christmas festivities. It absolutely is. It absolutely is. And we do it all for, for local youth activities. Okay. And uh, we also help fund uh, holiday food and gift drives in That's the community. Amazing. So the money stays in Golden Meadow That's right. and helps our own. That's right. And it goes right back. Absolutely. For people who are interested in learning more about the day's festivities or, like you said earlier, want to register their boat and participate yes. in it, what, what's the social media pages people can go to? Yes, go to Facebook. Golden Meadow Christmas Boat Parade. And there, like I said, you can find a form to register your vessel, mm -hmm. get the schedule of activities. You can uh, ask any questions you may have. We're always there to answer. And if you're interested in a craft vendor booth, mm -hmm. those are available for $25 a spot. Okay. We are filling up fast. Uh, space is limited. We uh, definitely still have spaces left, but don't hesitate. If you do want to sell your goods, we would love to have you. This is all going to be in the parking lot of the church, so right along mm -hmm. Highway 1. Mm -hmm. uh, really easy to find. And, uh, again, the address is 723 North Bayou Drive in Golden Meadow. Well, Miss Buffy, thank you so much. We are looking forward to a great, great festive day down the bayou. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. Absolutely. And that is a wrap for today's show. But before we go, we encourage you to visit LACajunBayou.com or follow along on our social media channels at LA Cajun Bayou. From all of us at Louisiana's Cajun Bayou Tourism, thank you so much for your support. Thanks for tuning in. And we look forward to bringing you a great new season of the local Lafouche. Try this, and some of those. Ooh, and definitely that. You won't be disappointed, but just know you can only get it here. Up and down Louisiana's Cajun Bayou in Lafouche Parish. Y'all come visit. We're just 35 miles south of New Orleans. Hungry? <laughs> Let's eat!